Fleslet. Yeah, so we're in East Strasburg, Pennsylvania. We just ate at a place called Shimsha Irish Pub. It's a really good spot in Strasburg on Main Street. The problem though is because it was St. Patrick's Day weekend. Today's Saturday, it's the day after St. Patrick's Day, but since it's St. Patrick's Day weekend, apparently they didn't have an Irish breakfast available on the menu and they always have it. You can always walk in and get it. And she was like, yeah, specifically this weekend, we don't have it. In my opinion, they're not, they're not really Irish. That's like, that's literally stupid. But regardless, we got bangers and mash. The food was really, really good. So I was <laughs> happy with it. She's looking at the Latin restaurant. Is that she? He's on the wall? Yeah. <laughs> it's my dad's Irish friend. <laughs> Feel the temperature dropping, right? Yeah, it's yeah, cold. You can. It looks like it's gonna snow too. Like them. I had my Irish rugby uh, jersey on here. Quick change. All right, so I changed. And yes, I'm definitely wearing denim on denim right now. I wouldn't judge until you try it. It's working for me pretty well right now. I'm heading in. I don't know where Paul is. Ah, he's right, I found him, he's right there. Oh, what's up? <laughs> okay, so this is our setup. Paul's gonna be stage right, I believe. I'm gonna be here stage left. Uh, bassist in the back, lead worship guy, singer, I think there's a keys person, uh, and a drummer, so it should be good. This is the back room where my head and amp should be. Huh? I turned it on. Oh, you turned it on? Okay, cool. Like on, on, or standby on? On, on. Okay, sweet. Thank you very much. Cases are right there. Do we still have water? Oh, yes. Look at all this water we have back here. These are all cases of water. This commercial was brought to you by Dasani. All right, time to set up. All right, service number one is about to start. apologize I know I haven't really been narrating the day very well so far it's been very busy so this weekend I'm actually off at Faith Church so Paul asked if I could come by help play a little electric guitar I said of course why not and instead of having a Sunday night service they actually have a Saturday night service which we actually just finished up I'm on my way to the gym but before I head out there I just wanted to talk to you about St. Patrick's Day and actually being Irish for those of you who don't know my dad was born in Dublin Ireland so my dad is actually Irish like Literally Irish. Irish accent, the whole deal. My mom is Guatemalan, so that makes me half Irish and half Guatemalan. So I'm not 100% Irish, but I'm pretty darn Irish. I'm actually first generation American of my family here in the States. Growing up, my dad made St. Patrick's Day a big part of our life. And not the way that most Americans know it to be. A lot of Americans know it to be a day of drinking, <laughs> a day of party. You wear green, you have green beads around your neck. I mean, you just, you're partying hard, all that. And don't get me wrong, Irish people are good at doing that too. But it's a very different way of looking at it in Ireland. Irish people, at least most of them, the ones that I've met, they don't drink to get drunk. 
they drink because they're happy people. See, in America, not everybody, but a lot of the time, it's about who can take the most shots to get the most drunk quickest. Like, And in Ireland, St. Patrick's Day is such a special day. It's literally labeled a national holiday. So in my family, we're not really partiers. We don't really drink. I actually don't drink at all myself personally, but we do celebrate the holiday. Take time off, don't work, and we really enjoy family time, and we have some Irish food, and you know, maybe throw on a jersey like I did this morning, and so we really enjoy each other's time. What I'm getting at is time. I'm bad at this because I always feel like I have something I'm doing or I always feel like I'm busy and, and I need to do better at this, but spending time with your loved ones, spending time with your family members, people who care about you, people who love you, taking time out of your regular day-to-day -day stuff to spend time with them is so valuable. Because if you have your parents, cherish them, value them, spend time with them. If you don't have your parents, I'm sorry. You know, I don't know what that's like. and. I'm sure that's a very tough situation. But even if you don't have parents, you probably have some family of some sort, whether it be an uncle or an aunt or a son or a daughter or a sister or a brother. I would do your best, spend time with them, learn about them, love on them, because God put them in your life for a reason. And I just happen to be super lucky, super blessed that my dad's from Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> so not only does he have a cool accent, but he's got an awesome story about how he came here. My mom, also from Guatemala, totally foreign country, came here as well. They both met in New York City. A couple years later, they got married. A couple years after that, here I am. Born in 1994, 23 years old now, and it's just phenomenal to see where life can take you. So I'm super proud to be Irish. I'm super proud that my dad came here and, and has an Irish background. Our family's all from Ireland. I still have a lot of family members that live in Ireland. So I just wanted to say happy St. Patrick's Day. I know I'm like a day or two late, but I don't really know if any of this made sense, but I'd love to stay and talk, but I gotta head to the gym. Uh, I didn't get to the gym this morning. woke up a little late, so I'm actually headed to the gym right now. I'm already running pretty late, so I gotta get going. But pleasure talking to you. I'll see you at the gym in two minutes. All right, quick wardrobe change. I'll be right back. All right, ready to go.